Pian Wupe Wildlife Reserve is one of Uganda's largest national protected areas covering an area of about 2,043 square kilometers north of Mountain Eligon and this makes it the second largest protected area after Maction Falls National Park. Pian Wupe Reserve is situated in the Karamoja sub-region of Uganda in the northeastern part of the country in Nakapiripit district. The reserve holds quite a number of wildlife species such as the impalas, giraffes, plain zebras, common elands among others. Pien Upe Game Reserve is also a haven to a wide array of bird species with ostriches being the unique and most sought after the bird in the park. Pian Upe Wildlife Reserve has become one of the best wildlife safari destination in Uganda. Given that it's still quite one of the newly recognized tourist destinations with raw and beautiful scenery in Uganda. The beauty of this game reserve has stunning landscape sceneries with surrounding mountains and most of the time you'll have the world game reserve to yourself. It's the second largest conservation area after Maxion Falls National Park with an area coverage of up to 3,893 kilometers squared. This whole life reserve covers an area of about 2,275 square kilometers to the north of Mountain Eligon. Under the Uganda Wildlife Authority, it's mandatory to conserve for the future generation. This reserve is managed by the Mountain Elgon Conservation Department. Therefore, Pian Upe Wildlife Reserve is joined to other two wildlife protected areas in northeastern part of Uganda, namely the Matheniko and Bokora Wildlife Reserve Browse Mountain Elegon National Park to form the Mountain Elegon Conservation Area. This game reserve is located in the northeastern part of Uganda in Nakapiripiri district with a total of about eight other districts either closely or partly covered by the stretch of the game reserve. This district including Amdat, Moroto, Katakwi, Napak, Kwen, Kumi, Bukere, and Barumburi. The wildlife reserve can easily be accessed by road from Kampala, capital city via Bali to Soroti Road, which takes about 8 to 9 hours and about 4 to 5 hours from Bali city town and 5-6 hours from Chidepo National Park to Pian Upe Wildlife Reserve. While in Nakapiripiri, Pian Upe can easily be accessed from the south of the Chepikunya Trading Center or north of Namaru Trading Center for visitors traveling from Mororo City. The closest operational airstrip is located in Amud that a strip. So years before Pian Upe Wildlife Reserve was gazetted as a conservation area, the area was a famous battleground for two of Karamajongo's pastoral groups, comprised of those from the northeast part of Uganda and the Pokot who were from Kenya. 
right up into Matheniko and Bokora Wildlife Reserve and into Chidepo Valley National Park. The main road leading into the reserve forms the boundary where both tribes intersect. Patrick, where are we heading? Yeah. We are going to this is the 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 the, 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 the Kadam. So we are going to this hill here, and it's in the Loporokocho village. This is Loporokocho where we are trying to go and cover, cover it up. Okay? So what we do always here, we do the cultural dance, we do the, the community hike, which is this mountain here. Uh, maybe perhaps also we can tomorrow have the hike with these guys, I mean the community, the cultural visit with them, or whatever the guest will plan for. Okay, we have a limited yeah. pace, mm. we shall remain somewhere in the middle. Okay. okay. Number two challenge is that the grass is a bit, actually it's high enough, mm. so we can bear with us. This is the weather. Mm. The, rain, the rain has been too much, mm. and now the, 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 of course the, the, the grass is high. Mm. But I know we shall make it where possible. Mm. Whenever you feel that really we can go come back, tell me, we shall come back. And uh, let's learn to give help to each other, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we walk at a low pace so that at least we, you don't get tired, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm have a, a sun cream, have the water, and uh, some snacks. You know, you may get tired and then you need to chips in something. Little, little <laughs> for, for the charging of the battery, okay? I'm, I'm willing. I'm and you need to be in a, in a photo. In a photo yeah. Auntie, Angie, Angie. Thank you for your name. It's fine. Where are we looking? In which of these three? Okay, yeah. just thanks. Uh -huh. You need to be in a photo first. I'll see you, please. Yeah, then take a nap. The main road into the reserve forms the boundary where both tribes intersect to raid one another during the ruthless cattle wrestling. However, peace has since returned to the region and tourism introduced for the bear of the community. In the 1958, the southern part of Pianupe Wildlife Reserve was gazetted as the Debassian Animal Sanctuary, even when the boundaries of the wildlife reserve were still being threatened when the government established a project for an agriculture produce in the south of the Girik River. This escalated threats on the reserve resources had pressed the state to expand the area north here and rename it Pianupe Game Reserve in 1964. Fortunately, the government of Uganda has expressed great interests in upgrading the Pianupe Game Reserve to National Park position. And efforts Hi. to introduce and restore wildlife numbers in the reserve is already in progress, as well as plans to open up more areas or communities for tourism development. Pianupe derives its name from the, its community where Pian refers to a clan among the Karamojong people of northeastern Uganda, while Upe refers to a Karenjin speaking pastoralist community of the Karamojongs who are said to have originated from the Pokoto tribe in Kenya, but now settled close to the wildlife reserve in Amdat district. Pian actually means calm hearted people while Upe means enemy. When both words are combined, you get the word friendly enemies. 
these people are predominantly pastoralists and live a very traditional lifestyle only being centered around their cattle. This group is mainly found in Nakapiripi district close to the Pianupe Wildlife Reserve headquarters. All national parks and wildlife reserves in Africa have the best time to visit and Pian Upe World Reserve is not an exception. The best time to visit Pian Upe Wildlife Reserve is between the months of January to March. When the vegetation is dry, you have clear views and animals gather at the water sources, making it easy for game viewing. Also, this period when the reserve management also carries out controlled bush burning to keep the Hi grass guys. shut, leaving okay? the vegetation dry hey, and it becomes easier to view the animals yeah. around the major water yeah. sources the when they gather the for a drink. Great River, which guys, explore, is located explore. in the south part of the reserve, is a source of water for the animals, leaving the semi arid region. From the months of November to December it's dry season but the vegetation is still lushy, making it difficult to spot animals sitting in the grass, treetops and invisible places. From April to October, it's the rainy season, so the trails or the tracks are usually muddy. Thus, the roads are even impassable due to flooding making game views impossible. The tracks in Pian Upe Wildlife Reserve are still poorly developed, so in the wet season, it can be a bit challenging. Last vegetation, bad has views. Visitors are recommended to travel in four wheel drive vehicles. Land cruises, most probably in case of weather changes. We are different than the health of the hill. <laughs> I mean, it's going to continue for a We're going to be looking at some of the attractions in Pine Ope Wildlife Reserve. Mountain hiking and guided nature walk.
Driving through Pianupe Wildlife Reserve introduces you to an endless flower and savanna plains dotted with acacias and sausage trees as well as rocky ridges embraced by three mountains Mountain Napak, Mountain Nakadam, and Mountain Eligon. When you look beyond the horizon, you will see these mountains stretching high above the sky. These mountains allow hiking opportunities. For example, hiking to the Napedat Cave is one of the best. Come on, we go hike. This is Explore Uganda. These high tests one is physical fitness levels, working on health levels and granting out some views of the reserve ranges. Napadek Cave is a popular ancient creational place for the first inhabitants of this area who would rather to engage in painting before the area was gazetted. Visitors can be able to see old paintings of Ranot Antelope beasts, barbones, as well as giraffes, which once roamed the reserve's yes, open here. plains. Other activities such as the bird washing. Pianwope Wildlife Reserve has become one of Uganda's top bird watching destinations. The reserve offers some great bird watching experience with a variety of different bird species found there. The reserve is ecosystem has attracted unique bird species making the reserve a desired bird destination in Africa. Some of the bird species found in the reserve include the rare ostriches which are easily seen while in this reserve compared to the Chitebo Valley National Park, the Kalamoja apples which is an endemic bird found in the northeastern part of Uganda. Are you fine, guys? Other bird species include superb starring, starrings, green beater, secretary bird, abyssinian ground hornbill, the rare showbill stock, and the fox weaver bird that can be seen in the parky stretch of land. <laughs>
Flora and Fauna. Pianupe Wildlife Reserve is one of the most fascinating and interesting conservation areas with district wildlands dominated by wooden savanna plains, which are surrounded by mountains and also cut between rock stretch ridges. Piano Pay is dominated by short trees and shrubs, thatching grass, lemon grasses, bristle species, beard grasses to mention a few. The reserve plains are dropped with red acacia, shrubs like the butterfly pea, desert date and bush willows. Pian Wupe Wildlife Reserve is one distinguished place for harboring quite a number of rare animals found nowhere else in Uganda, such as healthier population of cheetahs and Uganda's only remaining population of rhino antelopes. Seeing the cheetahs measures up to 80% chances, thus Pian Wupe Wildlife Reserve is the best place to see wildies fastest mammals. Other predators found in the reserve include the wildcats, jackals, spotted hyenas, chevets, shaver cats, the mystery leopards and prides of lions are reported to periodically travel between the nearby Amdat Wildlife Conservation Area and Pianupe Wildlife Reserve.
Their reserve is also home to large herds of agelets, including the common eland, a small population of zebras, hart beasts, jantas, dick dick, the population oribs, which were recently relocated from Lake Mbulo National Park. Cape Buffalo, the Ugandan Cub, Waterbuck, ETC. It's okay, I'm here, I'm just picking it. Oh, wow! You're tired? Very tired. <laughs> I'm here too. Me too, I want. <laughs> okay, we won't, we'll wait. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been in the rest of Africa. Yeah, you <laughs> so, Uganda is a part of Africa? Are you sure? I don't think so. Pian Upewa Leaf Reserve is a home to a variety of reptiles, including the common agama, geckos, venomous puff adders, rock pythons, savanna moiders, chameleons, and crocodiles that can be found in River Gerek. <sighs> Ah, much tundu chino. Na ye, tulimu kugeza kukubanga tuwa mboka. Uboli yao, tu inzo zi sinkana, na utazi sinkana. Na ye, uh, usinza kuwa percentage yeri uo. Ah, na ye, fetusa zao kubanga tuwa mboka. Haka sozi kana kaitiwa Mount Kadam, tuvoro kubanga tutuka. Ah, wa Gwenu, na ulave ublunji. Kwa Uganda, nga Rest TV, tuwa yo kubanga tukulambuzi guanga liyo. Usuboro kubanga na awi, omanya ebifa, muguanga, elia Uganda, mu sector. Every of Lambus, Catriongari, and Tamboca, Acasos Canon, or two can or gul. All up, Abamu, Bangabadi, you could ginger one, Badimukwanga, Banyumiam, Atenga, Ibaraba, a bit one see, Eddie, the two dogs over Okwanga to Toka, or a guru one. So, Casoko Kwanga, but to Sako, which among the Chigan Okwanga, a chitamula, a Please don't forget to click on the notification button for all the latest uploads. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section.
activities such as community tours. Pianupe Wildlife Reserve is located in Kalamoji region where we find the Karamajong people are similar to the Maasai of Kenya and Tanzania. These people have a rich culture and tradition that is exciting to experience even though they are known to be hostile in the early days of their settlement. The Kalamajongs are the best known for their pastoral practices. The culture visit to one of the local Kalamajong community near the reserve will offer you an exciting culture experience on a rare cultural music, dance and drama performance by the locals, most especially the famous Ndonga dance. Most of the animals in Pianupe Wildlife Reserve had become extinct during the era of the insurgencies. However, the Uganda Wildlife Authority already has plans reintroducing most of the animal species to reactive the reserve for tourism development. So for those looking for accommodation in these reserves, it could be so hard for you since these reserves do not have so many of the accommodations since it's still under development. The commonly used accommodation facility in the park is the Uganda Wildlife Bandes, which are located at the park headquarters. Alternatively, someone can choose to camp around the park headquarters with own tent or hired tent from the park. There is only one available mid-range accommodation facility called Karamoja Overland Camp with tents that are self-contained featuring a suit facilities like showers and electricity. Just as one needs to prepare for gorilla trekking safari, visiting Pianupe Wildlife Reserve requires adequate preparations in what to bring given its insufficient resources to host visitors. There are key things one has to bring when visiting the reserve. You need comfortable light clothes of neutral colors. However, warm clothes are also advisable since the evenings and early mornings often get chilly. Comfortable clothes shoes are highly recommended, especially if you are going to hike on one of the mountains when you visit Pian Wildlife Reserve. For those camping, you are advised to come with your own camping equipment like the tent and the bedding, own cup plate and other necessary daily things to use. 
You may also need the insect repellent to protect you from the wall flies and safari bugs. You will also want to pack some sunscreen lotion, sunglasses and sun hat, as this semi-red part of the country can get pretty hot. Always remember to pack your personal toiletries such as the lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, bath sap, deodorant and lip balm. Or is carry gadgets that can take some decent photos, cameras, binoculars for bird watching. You'll want to remember this stunning landscape and photos will help you my tell the story. If possible, also carry a portable external battery or power bank since the electricity is on and off sometimes, especially in the night. Remember to carry a torch. well well that's what we had for today hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please once again don't forget to click on the notification button the like button and a comment in the comment section bye now i'm out
Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, um, first in Omara. We are, this morning we are going to start our game drive. We shall start from uh, Giraffe Track, making a loop to Lapedet up to Ron and Telop Track. Then from Ron and Telop Track, we shall go to, to Lapedet Cave, where we are going to have our breakfast. Hopefully, you will enjoy the trip. Thank you. Thank you. 